so the the total will be one okay so now we click on simulator pvt now you can see it's already active cmg gem eos model click on that okay so we will have this form file selection print detailed component properties to wp it's winprop template dot out the extension and print component properties for gem to winprop template dot gem okay so make sure you can follow me in this case we will check this one okay so we will print component properties for gem okay and it will be available in this winprop template dot gem okay and then the reservoir temperature for the gem gem fluid model it's 50 degrees centigrade okay and write solid model parameters for gem not now write component heating values for gem not now and we will use rocho aqueous density correlation and for the viscosity correlation we will use casting casting aqueous all right so far so good and then let's select gem reaction i mean we will you know just read this select gem reactions and or define polymer or non-reaction reacting aqueous components yeah we will leave it for now okay so for now we can save the file save as okay i will go to this all right and then let's call this winprop underscore case one structural okay after you save you can run the case and this will generate a file and the name of the file will be winprop underscore case underscore one underscore structural dot gem with all the pvt parameters necessary to run the gem model okay but by the way we can also check here the composition co2 and ch4 component property plot like this and simulation output okay after you run the the wind prop model this is the result okay we can maximize you see here wind prop underscore case underscore structural dot that simulation graphs can we or no okay this is the critical pressure critical temperature this is actually what we have in the component selection here okay so from here we can exit the wind prop and let's return to the builder interface here and in builder we can go to components and then import wind prop generated model all right and then here we can find this wind prop case underscore one structural but the important thing is here this is the the, the, the extension is dot gem so this is the this is the one that we need so click on open import the wind prop composition primary data into the data set using z global c keyword okay and yeah by the way here the component is already green checked but we still need to define the the water and let's click on yes first so if you click on this we still need to define the water properties okay so after you click the properties of water under the component section let's change the reference pressure for water compressibility let's can we expand this 
Okay, we can change it to reference pressure, this one. 13,100 viscosity centipoise and then for this one we can change it okay to this is the water compressibility 4.5 e to the power of minus 7 okay that's the value and then click apply and then click on okay Okay, so everything is good. So it is also noticed that the reservoir section becomes red and some, but it's okay. All right, and then we expand this. All right, no problem. And then we will go to the rock fluid, you know, Rockford information.